16th Avenue. Four people have already been taken into custody in connection with the shooting. 680 News Time 835. Gill Region Regional Police say the body that was found Thursday in the debris of Tuesday's massive house explosion in Mississauga has been identified as that of 55-year-old Robert Nadler. The body that was found the day of the explosion was earlier identified as Nadler's wife, 55-year-old Diane Page. Nine other people suffered minor injuries in the blast that obliterated one home, badly damaged several more, and rained down debris over a wide area. There's still no word of the cause of the explosion though police have launched a criminal investigation. Handwritten notes found near the scene have been turned over to investigators. We're trying to determine whether they're related to the explosion. 680 News Time, 836. Filipino troops have recovered what they believe is the body of a Canadian hostage, Robert Hall. Hall was beheaded by Abu Sayyaf militants more than two weeks ago after a ransom deadline passed. Police forensic experts are working to confirm the remains are that of Hall. Paul was kidnapped off a pier along with fellow Canadian John Ristel and two other foreign tourists. Ristel was also beheaded. 680 News Time 836. The great place to beat the heat this long weekend is out on the water. Toronto Harbor and Lake Ontario offer something for everyone, but even a seasoned sailor might be surprised by some of our local hazards. 680's John Mace is calling for the captain ashore and spreading the word about boating safety. Let me sail into the misty. Just like on our roads, police still trying to get the word out. Drinking and boating do not mix. Even one or two drinks can really throw somebody's equilibrium in and perception of things out of one. That's Richard Baker with the Toronto Police Marine Units. New boaters might be intimidated by the traffic of the Toronto Harbor, but common sense will go a long way. They're, they're the ferries, and it's just to, to respect one another, respect the boats, pay attention, use the rules of the, the road, so to speak. And don't forget there's a speed limit in the harbor, not only just for your own safety and to prevent property damage, but it also protects the environment. There's a lot of creatures used in other ways as well as us. Your weight could be damaging their nest. They'll be out there this weekend making sure you've got all of your safety items on board and you're following the rules. Fairly warned. Please I'm John Mace. With the Canada Day long weekend in full swing, the OPC want to make sure you enjoy yourself safely, especially when it comes to getting behind the wheel. As with every long weekend, the OPP are out in full force targeting distracted, impaired, and aggressive drivers. Last weekend, eight people were killed in four separate crashes on OPP patrol roads, including four people in the horrific crash on Highway 400 near Finch Avenue. So far this year, 128 people have been killed on provincial roads. The 45,000 fans that chose to spend their Canada Day at Rogers Center were treated to a doubleheader of sorts. The Jays and Cleveland Indians needed 19 innings to find a winner, or the equivalent of just over two full games. Unfortunately, the Tribe got the upper hand, downing the Bluebirds 2-1. The Jays used up all the bullpen arms and had to turn to infielders Ryan Gould and Darwin Barney to tow the rubber down the stretch. Goins may have looked good on the mound, but says a position change isn't in the cards. I um, mean, you know, I look back like 10 years from now and say I'm trying for the best year in Major League Baseball, so that's good. I got that going for me. But that's about it. Game three of the four game set gets underway at 107 this afternoon on Sportsnet and Sportsnet on Downey the Fed. There is no longer a provincial state of emergency for Fort McMurray after it was declared two months ago when the wildfires ravaged the municipality. A local state of emergency, though, does remain in effect for the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo. And the province is continuing to work with local officials to monitor the impact of the fire on air, soil, and water quality. Charges have been filed against an Illinois man who allegedly hacked into hundreds of iCloud and email accounts, including many celebrities. Prosecutors here in L.A. announcing 28-year-old Edward Majerzyk has been charged with felony computer hacking for a phishing scheme that gave him access to over 300 iCloud and Gmail accounts, and that Majerzyk has signed an agreement offering a guilty plea. In return, his case will be transferred to Illinois, where he lives, and he could get five years in federal prison. Among the hacking victims, Hollywood celebrities accessing their personal information, private photos, and videos. Alex Stone, ABC News, Los Angeles. 680 News Time 849. I'm Joel Rotman, president of Think Protection. I need a new alarm company, Think Protection, because we think there's a better way to protect your home and family. With your Think Protection home alarm, monitoring is only $12.99 per month with no contract. And with Think Protection, you don't need a home phone line. Call 1 855 766 or visit thinkprotection.com. Day in history, July 2nd, 2003, Vancouver.
won the right to host the 2010 Winter Olympics, beating out Salzburg, Austria, and Pyeongchang, South Korea. Canada went on to top the medal table for the first time at the Olympics Games, winning 14 golds. 680 News Time, 840. You guys camping out in your backyard again tonight? We have to. Our AC broke, and the house is like a sauna. It's not fixed yet. The company we rent it from keeps giving up the runaround. You're still renting? The biome fees are insane, so camp out it is. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Rent on your AC.